Hello and welcome back to Blackjack. I'm Blackjack Aviani and I'm recording to you live from scenic Blackjack's parents' den. You know how it is. Don't wake the baby when you record. I won't wake the baby when I record. I'm going to record in the freaking den. Okay, so I know you, I said yesterday that this was going to be up yesterday, but that's because I thought yesterday was Wednesday. It actually ended up uh, with me being stranded somewhere for four hours because I thought that uh, an event that I was going to was yesterday there's today and uh, okay so hmm. Ooh. Mm. It, this actually led to me refreshing my YouTube feed over and over again like why isn't the death battle up why isn't the death battle oh okay and then also last night, before I went to bed, I was taking my medicine and I realized I took it out of the Wednesday square instead of the Tuesday square. It's the same medicine, but still, you know, I just, I looked down at it and I'm like, of course, of course. Now, before we begin, I have something really fun to show you. This is from my high school. My dad uh, taught at the high school that I went to and sometimes he would take us to prom. Even back when we were really little, he would alternate between taking me and my sister to prom. It was really neat. I like that dress. <laughs> but, oh my god, look at my at my face uh, once it actually eh. I'm making kind of this weird face. <laughs> uh I kind of look a little like my by Alec in that picture. And, I mean, she's a good actress, but she is not a good-looking woman, I'll tell you that. <laughs> uh, so, anyway, um, Weiss, I keep wanting to call her Vice, uh, versus Mitsuru. And, you know, before I played Persona 3, I never understood why people would see an attractive woman and be like, yes, step on me. And then I saw Mitsuru and I'm like, step on me, please. <laughs> so yeah, and like I said before, um, when I played Tamadachi Life, I made a Mitsuru me and uh, she ended up getting <laughs> married to B2 from uh, Diamond and Pearl Adventure. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, I know. Dragons. There's always dragons. And I shall adjust. Oh, no, frick it. It's on my webcam. By the way, I got, was good. And I, I got told that um, if I was to use headphones, it would get rid of the humming noise. But honestly, I found it made the humming noise worse. Um, I think it's because it was picking up my microphone on there as well as this microphone. And I don't know. It's weird. Although my sister did get me um, some new headphones for my birthday, so I'm going to give those a shot. Problem is, I like the ones I already have, you know? They're willing to sacrifice. Today, we're pitting together two queens of ice born into powerful, if troubled, families. Nice, nice. Weiss Schnee, heiress to the Schnee Dust Company and member of Weiss the Hunter's Schnee, Team come on. And Mitsuru Kirijo, heiress to the Kirijo Hang group. Hang on a second. I want to play with this. Uh, not with that one. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Member of the Persona Wielding Seas. He's Wiz and I'm Boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. Nice, nice. They're not using the Blaze Blue The sprites. world of Remnant is known for many things. The vicious creatures called Grim, the hunters and huntresses committed to fighting them, and the Schnee family. Yeah, they're kind of like royalty, and their princess is Weiss Schnee. As the heiress to the family company, she grew up in a pretty cold I like the home. Pun intended. Red collar. The Schnee family expected a lot from Weiss. It was considered essential that she live up to their highly influential name. 
Too bad for them, she had her own plan. Oh, and he's got Rejecting that Rejecting her father's wishes to remain at home, Weiss left to attend Beacon Academy and train to become a huntress. Cool. Literally putting the W in Team Ruby. Within just a year, Weiss established her own name for herself, saving the kingdom on they more were standing than one occasion, in order too. and doing so with her Ruby, trusty blade, her Master. And Blake that's McHugh. and Merc Nasty Nang. here is a multi-action rapier with a three-foot-long blade. But guess what? It's also a gun! Hard Instead light. of a plain old cross guard, it's got a six-slot revolver-style chamber that Weiss it's fills with light. bullets colored like the rainbow. Well, they're not exactly bullets. They are vials of dust, which she can fire to enhance her weapon and skills. Okay. Ironically, the Schnee Dust Company is by far one of the largest producers and exporters of dust. Sounds oh, good. Wait, wait, wait. They sell dust? I got a ton of that shit covering the bookshelf in my trailer. I can sell it and finally have enough money to buy a second bookshelf. Just farm, here I come. Oh, God. No, not that kind of dust. In the world of Remnant, dust is an energy source, often used to fuel vehicles, androids, and weapons. Okay. Wait, you have books? When did I say anything about books? That's why he well, has the long shell. Long story short, there are four main types of dust: air, That's why there's so fire, much dust and on water. It. And Weiss likes to mix water and air together for her favorite, ice dust. And that is why they call you the Ice Queen. She can also attack with fire, launch a windstorm, block attacks with barriers, and many, many other techniques. Needless okay. to say, Myrtanaster is a surprisingly versatile weapon. She also uses dust to boost her semblance, which is basically her X-Men superpower. Awesome, gets awesome. Hers from her family line and can Croissants do a bunch of stuff with it. She can make glyphs on surfaces or in the air. You know, I know I seem like I'm not paying attention because I'm not talking, Black but that's because I'm Black glyphs hold I'm things in attention. place while white ones propel things forward. Okay. Also, by infusing glyphs with dust, she can manipulate their effects. Hmm. For example, a touch of lightning dust lets her dilate time, dramatically increasing her speed. Or even better, she can use the glyphs to summon monsters to aid her in battle, <laughs> Beastmaster style. Like this crazy boar, a giant killer wasp, and the Armagigas. Cool, which cool. literally translates to giant armor in Latin, so fitting. Damn, yeah. just imagine how great her family could be if they all didn't hate each other. <laughs> Unlimited dust, giant bodyguards you can summon any time, and they thought never that they would have a red tie. Unfortunately, the Schnee family does suffer from some rocky relationships. Yeah. With the exception of Weiss and her older sister, Winter. Wait, 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 go back. Winter. Is her dad Colonel Sanders? I guess there's a certain resemblance. AFC. He doesn't have the good tea part, though. No wonder they're so rich. Where did you get that chicken? What? You don't carry pocket chicken? So back on topic, Weiss has a very powerful and versatile ability, and she can summon creatures she has previously slain in battle, specifically those who hold particular importance to her personal growth. While her sister can summon multiples of a single creature, Weiss hasn't shown this capability yet. I... <sighs> particular importance to her personal growth. So I'm assuming like what passes for boss monsters in her series. Uh. <sighs> What kind like of creatures is she slain in battle? It's powered by her aura. Which is like an invisible shield around her body. She's basically unkillable while it's up. Though the aura itself isn't indestructible. It can okay, be depleted good. after taking a lot of damage and needs time to restore itself. Without it, she cannot use her semblance and she's much more vulnerable. But that aura is pretty friggin' tough. It was just enough to take a full-on hit from a geyser of lava. Okay... Armagigas cut up a paladin. I'm assuming that's one of those tanks things. Hang on a second. Team FNKI. Team Funky? Am I reading that right? Is that Team Funky? Okay, how bad was the train crash? How big was the sound attack? <laughs> I like that they already figured out the jewels. Temperatures up to 1200 degrees Celsius, enough to melt iron. And during yep. a food fight of all things, she was thrown into a pillar so hard it was obliterated. Hey, nice. Liz, I've been in a few food fights in my time, and that shit gets intense. And that one's tame by hey, comparison. Floor chicken. But greatest of all, with a combination of ice and her aura, she survived riding atop a speeding train crashing through concrete. By measuring the diameter of the resulting hole and applying the values of fragmentation, this means Weiss survived an impact equal to over seven tons of TNT. But it's not just Weiss that's tough. Her glyphs are strong enough to catapult the Armagigas. And with her ice powers, okay, she's how much knocked around though? a giant mech built for fighting Godzilla-sized Grimm. 
compared to the height of our teammate nearby. Okay, I think I've seen that thing before in over Evangelion. It appears thousand metric tons of ice. Obviously, that much ice doesn't fit into two vials of dust. She's likely using the ocean as a base to exert fusion energy and vaporization energy on the nitrogen in the air, thereby freezing it like so. At most, this would require over 900 billion joules of energy, equivalent to detonating around two metric tons of ice. Hang on a second, I'm gonna ice. go back a little bit. Obviously, that much ice doesn't fit into two vials of dust. She's likely using the ocean as a base to exert right fusion in. energy and okay. vaporization energy on the nitrogen in the air. What? No, stop! Thereby Look, freezing stop. it. Stop! God's sakes, come on. Of dust. She's likely okay, using on, the ocean as a. Alright, I want to see what number this is. 100. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Base to exert Never fusion mind. energy and vaporization energy. I just saw those numbers in a air, row with energy. Thereby freezing it like denotation. Quick, dodging missiles and even hitting bullets out of the air. And with time dilation, she can stay nearly untouchable while taking out her opponents in the blink of an eye. Like that old. Okay, in the manga, uh, Weiss has some great feats, such as using glyphs to pull meteors from outer space. These feats are unsupported by primary cannon or stem from non-cannon gags. Okay, so she's sting. not going to be doing Float that like here. an inner tube on a lazy river and sting like your pee in the morning. Please go to a doctor. <laughs> Throughout her journey, Weiss has overcome all sorts of dangers, but her most difficult task may have been the moment her father cut her out of the family, Ooh. leaving her financially broke and dismissed from her birthright. Ah, boo-hoo, no more allowance. Still, she's powered through and made a name for herself as a huntress. With the ruby team at her back, I think she's found the family she truly belongs to. Cool. It's always heartwarming. Even for an ice queen. I'm more than a name. Well, yeah. Everyone is. In the early 2000s, you like, you'd be hard-pressed to find someone in Japan exist. who didn't know of the Kirijo Group, a global conglomerate involved in nearly every Come aspect on, it's of called daily life. And like the, the heiress to this impressive company much. was a young girl named Mitsuru Kirijo. But unknown to her, the family company was into some pretty sketchy stuff. Her yeah. grandpa started experimenting with some sort of mental world called the Mind Place. I've or never more read the manga. the collective I unconscious, should. a realm connected to every living being subconscious. I haven't seen mind. the anime yet and either because the collective unconscious Netflix only has part shadows, two. Fragments of human psyche, which Not often appear one. as malevolent monsters. They're basically demons. Kind of. Yeah. However, there's another sort more directly integrated with the minds of individual people, effectively becoming their shadow selves. Yeah. So some of them are demons who want to kill you, and some of them are demons who are part of your brain. Yeah. yeah. Close enough. Well, Gramps tried to get the shadows for himself, but as anyone who's tried to summon demons will tell you, don't, don't do that. Do not look Trust surprised. Me, it never works out, and when it does, it doesn't. Chaos incarnate that erupted. Evil Maxi back the there. resulting explosion from his experiment released the shadows into reality to prey on an unsuspecting populace, and unveiled the Tartarus, a citadel between worlds. The Earth was drastically changed with a new dark hour. Yep. An extra hour of time occurring at midnight. Most folks didn't notice, though. The world basically freezes in time during the dark hour, including people. You know, it could so be happening and we never know it. Hour clock, Cause when the hour runs up, everything continues like nothing happened. It's like getting an extra hour of secret sleep. But some people are able to operate during this hour, <laughs> including <laughs> Not Mitsuru, me, though. which she decided to take full advantage of. Yeah, she felt pretty guilty about her family basically ruining everything and sending hundreds of murder monsters into the world. So she swore to fix her grandpappy's mess. And while she's certainly skilled with a rapier thanks to her time in fencing club, a Okay. Retractable ice whip. Oh yeah, they they mispronounced uh, Penthesilea in here. <laughs> Remember that. Single sword would never be enough to combat the hordes of shadows. Analysis Luckily, her powers. first experience with the Dark Hour helped. Immunity to ice. That's going to be very, very valuable. Um, ice whip. I have to wonder how that's going to come into play because that means she has a distance physical. Her out in this regard. Charms That's one charms. way to put it. She and her dad were almost murdered by spooky shadows. But this Jessica event also led to an awakening. With the threat of death itself mere seconds away, Mitsuru dug deep within and found a new weapon, her shadow self. 
And that's how she became a person user. Persona user. <laughs> yeah, that's what I said. Thanks no, to she this was fateful already. night, Mitsuru can summon a manifestation of her personality known as a persona. This was Penthesilia. Penthesilea! They only say it like a million times Artemisia. in the game. Marty is the best non-imaginary friend you could ask for. She's got all sorts of powerful ice spells. She can heal Mitsuru's wounds. She can drain someone's energy and add it to Mitsuru's own. And she can blow people up with mega deal of, uh, It's a big purple kaboom that ignores special defenses. Anyway, and to top it all oh, up... She's got but King is Geisler. the shield going to be considered a special defense? Captain Resentment? I don't think that's how resentment is spelled. The Imperious Queen of Execution. While Artemisia cannot really be killed, she does have her limits. When a persona is overtaxed or takes too much damage, it becomes broken and unusable for a short time. And since How short? Andy, I know this move has been really tough. Uh, and I I so think you deserve this. Get out of here. Artemisia is technically part of Mitsuru's mind. When the persona gets hurt, so does she. Damage to the persona does not physically injure the user, rather it causes a strain on their stamina and severe mental pain. Also it's worth noting personas are resistant to most conventional forms of attacks. So that means uh, if Weiss goes at it with her sword, um, it's probably not going to work. Uh, if she goes at it with her magic, though, it says Mitsuru is immune to ice. But, uh, hmm doesn't say if her persona is immune to ice. But this connection also grants Mitsuru her own set of special powers. She's physically superior to most others. She can also sense the locations of people and layouts of buildings through analytical clairvoyance. She's also immune to ice and the cold, so I'm not really sure why she needs that giant fur coat. Everyone Fashion. needs a good fur coat, Wiz. Come on. Did not expect uh, a yes, Friends reference on here. Pretty nice coat. Anyway, Mitsuru wasn't going into battle alone. She, she gathered a team of Persona users to form the, the Specialized Extracurricular Execution Squad, or SEAS, which is much easier to say. The team set out to explore Tartarus, combat the shadows, and put an end to the Dark Hour. Yay. While also scoring some extra credit, because it was technically an after-school club. <laughs> Japanese schools are way more hardcore than ours. And with a team at you her back, Mitsuru another club. needed a tool to reliably summon Personas with. And so came the Evoker, which might be a little disturbing to some people, so yeah. fair warning. Yeah, it looks just like a gun, and that's kind of the point. The idea is to use the gun to create an extremely dramatic experience similar to how Mitsuru first evoked her own persona. Specifically, this is accomplished by aiming the thing at your face and pulling the trigger. Yeah, that's definitely not how guns are supposed to work. Questionable concepts Can you aside, aim it at Mitsuru else? and her persona are an absolute terror on the battlefield. I know it's called an invoker because it's supposed to invoke your powerful emotions. Even though you'd think after doing it time and time again, you'd realize, you know, this is this is just something to bring something out in me. You'd think you'd just get used to it. But could you point it, like, at your heart or whatever? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> did, did she just cut off that thing's dick? Yes, she did, Boomstick. And it was a goddamn cannon. Oh, the horror, but also cannon dick. Mitsuru is quick enough to dodge gunfire. Heck, another justice. persona user is even fast enough to outrun a bullet fired by a magnum. Those usually have a muzzle velocity of over 360 meters per second. And personas can move even faster. Neotos could react to and catch an arrow in milliseconds. And wow. Mitsuru has defeated her in battle. But hey, how about that time Mitsuru and her whole team survived an explosion that totally wrecked this whole bridge? Now, uh, in my humble yes, there opinion, is a dog. my very own handcrafted <laughs> munitions measurement chart, I'd say this blast ball... Not pictured. Strong Bad's computer. Somewhere in the range of, oh shit, we're dead. Interesting, but let's use some real science now. This is real science. I tested explosions and their real effects on real people, just like you would. <laughs> I'm a real scientist now. <laughs> but that's... wait, real people? Boomstick, where are the interns? Uh, the, I Did you blow up Jocelyn? I got that you wanted. Ooh, thank you. Oh, it's so soft. So are the interns. 
But hey, uh, wait, did he just say it's made of interns? You gotta do. By working with another Persona user, Yukari, Mitsuru helped freeze up this giant creepy puppet monster. Well, again, taking nitrogen into account as it comprises 70% of air's makeup, we can apply its required fusion energy and vaporization energy to find this feat oh, with yeah. the energy output equal to 60 kilotons of TNT. Though this can't all be attributed to Mitsuru as she did have help. That's still a hell of a lot of ice. Mitsuru and Artemisia sure make a powerful pair. And even after successfully ending the dark hour and redeeming her family name, oh Mitsuru god, that scene was so emotional everywhere. right at the end. One shadow at a time. Oh, crap. This appears to be just the beginning. When she's addressing the school and she's like gradually remembering everything that's happened. Oh my god, it's such a powerful scene. Uh. All right, the combatants are set, and we've run the data through all possibilities. But first, I'm all out of pocket chicken, so let's get something better with Blue Apron. By now, you've probably heard of Blue Apron, the leading blah, meal blah, kit blah, delivery blah, service blah, blah, in the U.S. Choose your meals each week. Okay, so this is still blatant favoritism, but I'm going to go with Mitsuru again. Um, Weiss looks like she's going to put up more of a fight than I thought. Also, everyone in the comments is saying Mitsuru is going to win. Um, not on this video. I haven't checked this video for obvious reasons, but <laughs> here's the problem, though. Death Battle set up an unwinnable situation for themselves. If Weiss wins, everyone's going to say, you just did that because you're biased because you're owned by Rooster Teeth. If Mitsuru wins, everyone's going to say, oh, you just threw the battle to show you don't have a bias. Even if they just stuck to 100% canon facts and figures... Like, there's still going to be those accusations. So anyway, um, it's yours going to win. Let's give this a shot. Oh, they're already fighting. Such good form. You fight with a sense of ease. Thank you, but flattery will get you nowhere. <laughs> She's got, like, ice coming off of her sword, like, steam ice, you know? You know how the ice kind of steams? Is she immune to the physical effects of ice, too? Fighting you with ice? Ironic. And a waste of time. Artemisia! I don't think that's ironic. Oh, she's using that first, though. I knew he was going to get defeated at some point. And fire. But Mitsuru is mentally very strong. So that's what it's like. Interesting. Stuck her on a glyph? You can do that? You can stick people to him? Yeah! Well, there's that thing. I noticed they didn't tell us before how heavy that thing is, and that might be because of the... Uh, because they're saving it for later. She's not immune to ice, is she? As annoying as this was, I have to admit, you fought valiantly. But now, you'll fall by my own hand! I can do this on my own. Artemisia! No mercy! Hoo-hoo! <laughs> Use your charm spell! Foo foo is calling her back. Oh, yeah. 
There you go. <laughs> Take a bow, yes, thank you. KO! Well, Wiz, uh, hey, you know what? She pulled out her special attack first. We have cool. another one to end of the pile. Weiss was incredibly skilled. Her versatility certainly proved a challenge for Mitsuru, and she held a decent advantage in speed thanks to time dilation. Relatively Though to be similar. fair, Mitsuru's analytical clairvoyance meant it would have been pretty difficult for Weiss to get the jump on her. Plus, hmm. Naota's persona had to move around Mach 7 to catch that arrow in such a short amount of time, so Artemisia cool, cool. must be capable of similar speeds. Yeah, but slowing down time seems like an instant win move, doesn't it? Not in all the some personas ways, are equal, yes, though. But we look for who can win the most matches hmm. overall, not just a couple times out of... At face value, some Ruby characters such as similar to Weiss showcase high Mach speed such as dodging natural lightning. You hear that, right? That's not a fire alarm. What the heck is that? What was that? I heard my mom say, that was weird. Okay, well, regardless. Persona characters feature similar cases, such as Junpei's persona flying out of orbit in seconds. Possibilities thanks to cool, one cool. good move. Yeah, even though Weiss had plenty of attack options, Mitsuru's defenses were just too strong. Like how she completely cancelled Weiss's ice attacks. This presented a unique problem for Weiss, who has always Both been fairly smile. reliant on ice techniques. Mitsuru technically you takes extra damage from fire-based attacks, Weiss's fire dust has never been shown to be deadly enough to account for their stat gap. Mitsuru has worn fire-resistant equipment before nullifying this weakness. So, was forced to use are we to assume that she just wears that equipment around? Plus, Weiss and her summons have never dealt damage anywhere close to that oh shit we're dead explosion that Mitsuru survived. By taking the diameter of the blast here and comparing it to real life nukes, then considering how far Mitsuru was from the center of it, Goodness she took golly. a hit worth over 21 tons of TNT. Definitely um, while Ryoji didn't intend to kill Mitsuru and her friends with this blast, that doesn't mean it wasn't dangerous. Ryoji was likely aware of their limits and scaled his attack accordingly. Also, by the way, yes, if you haven't played Persona 3, yes, you did actually see a Weiss's dog seven with ton train feet. Frankly, Mitsuru's survivability and power output outclassed Weiss. Even if we cut her major ice feet in half since she was aided by Yukari, Mitsuru still output 130 oh, times too. more energy than Weiss when she attacked that mech. But numbers aren't everything, right? Sure, there's always a new way to look at things. For instance, Weiss's arsenal was limited by her aura and dust supply, while Mitsuru had no such constraint on her own powers. It takes a long oh, time yeah, to restore yeah. aura, and remember, I was expecting when a persona her to use gets that. broken, and it can charm. just come back a few seconds later. Which was extremely useful, as Artemisia could heal Mitsuru at any time, undoing whatever progress Weiss had and made. And she lost her cool oh, there. Man, what an ice-cold move! The, While Weiss's speed I did not and intend. Oh, he got another fight, coat. Mitsuru's greater defense, didn't raw power, and more reliable arsenal proved too much for the Huntress. She had no chance. The winner is Mitsuru Kirito. Hey, thanks for watching Death Battle. Don't go away just yet. We're about to announce the next fight. And if you haven't seen the latest episode of our podcast, the Death Battle Cast, come on, come on, come on. Come right on. There. There's something good. Okay, Captain Falcon. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, that's going to be hilarious. Uh, uh, uh. Well, Falcon's gonna get punched in the dick. Probably multiple times. <laughs> okay, so that happened about the same as I was expecting. But, um... <clears throat> I was a little worried when Mitsuru called out her persona first. Because we all know how that's played out before. But, we, have, we now have another exception to add to the pile of using your super move first. Um... Which I'm pretty sure is um, basically Mewtwo in Mewtwo vs. Shadow. Um, who, uh, well, Shadow technically started to power up first, but Mewtwo, um, they both kind of achieved it at the same time. Um, and, of course, uh, Vegeta versus Shadow. Uh, 
<laughs> so, uh, yeah, now we have Mitsuru using her super move first. So that was cool. She's going to have to get seen about being stabbed in the chest, though. Because <laughs> it did, like, I'm assuming then um, her whole, you know, what they were saying about, like, the catching the arrow and everything. I'm assuming there was something to stop it before it could reach her heart. I mean, the heart is actually down here, but... Uh, actually a little lower, but even then, up here is still going to be really, really, really dangerous. So I'm assuming it was something stopping it before it reached anything vital. Um, but either way, she's still going to have to get seen for that. She's going to at least need some stitches. <laughs> so, um, I was surprised she didn't try to use Charm. Because uh, that was a very, very nice move. And, you know, they brought up she could have used the energy stealing move. <laughs> and I think it is kind of a fair assumption, even though it is an assumption, it's not really based on canon that they said anyway, or that I remember, that she would wear something that would um, strengthen her, her resistance to fire. Uh, but I, uh, I could believe it. Um, because, I mean, if I was weak to an element, I would want to carry something around with me that strengthened me. Especially it was just like a charm or something. Uh, next time looks really funny. <laughs> yeah, I've been wondering if they had uh, Falcon who they would have him against. Um, Johnny Cage is going to be interesting. It's glad to see they're putting Mortal Kombat against people other than Street Fighter. I mean, I know they had uh, Sub-Zero versus Glacius not long ago. Uh, but, you know, still. Speaking of, it is freaking hot out, and finally we get to see some ice, you know? What's weird, though, it's like, it's literally like 100 out. But up at the mountain, up at Mount Hood, it's snowing. It's blizzarding. Could have gone up there to watch this. Okay, so I will see you guys next time. And hopefully I will not attempt to look for it on a Tuesday next time. By the way, tomorrow's my birthday. <laughs> and also, once again, even though it doesn't apply right here, because I'm at my parents' house, still, Nobody has said thank you to my neighbor for letting me use her Wi-Fi. So I want to see people saying, thank you, Blackjack's neighbor. Anyway, uh, until next time, I'm Blackjack Aviani, and you're not.